Good morning, dear students. Welcome you all in today's EBS period. So, students, first of all, tell me what you observe in your surroundings. Yes, in your surrounding, you observe some living things also, some non-living things also. Now, apart from this living things, these all living things, uh, just I'm specifies about the animals. It may be the human beings. It may be the animals. Where they live? Yes. They live in their shelter. They live in their house. Where do you live? In your house. Yes. Where is your house? Where? Anyone can tell me? Yes. It might be on the moon. Yes. Am I right? No. Then where? On the sun. Yes. No. Then Yes, we all, all are living on the earth. Yes, in solar system, already we discussed third planet in the solar system, that is the earth. Life is found on only on the earth. Yes, so in today's period, we discuss about the earth. The topic is our earth. Now, tell me students, are you seeing globe of the earth? How you looks that? In solar system already we discussed. Yes, just in the general. That life is found on the earth. All that things we discuss. But now, in today's period, we are going to discuss about what is earth? How it is made up of? It is made up of which things? Bricks? Or stones just like your house. No. Then what? That earth is made up of what? Then how days and nights occurs on the earth? We already found 12 hours or sometimes 8, 10 hours, sometimes 11 hours. Yes, day after night and night after days. Always it follows why this happens. Why this day and night occurs. And another thing is what is revolution and what is the rotation. See dear students, you always observe now rainy days are going on. Yes, sometimes rain will happen. After that, winter season will come. Then summer season will come. Why this happens? What causes that? So all, all this we discuss in today's period about the earth. Good morning students. In today's video, we we'll learn about Earth, the living planet. Earth is a unique planet. Different kinds of plants and animals live here. There's no other place in the universe where there is life. Why is Earth called a unique or a living planet? Earth is called a living planet because life is possible on Earth. Now we all know that all living things need air, water and right amount of warmth to live. And we find all these things on earth. Facts about earth. Fact number one. The earth gets heat and light from the sun. Fact number two. The layer of air called the atmosphere surrounds the earth. So atmosphere is the layer of earth that surrounds the earth. It also protects us from harmful ultraviolet rays of the sun. Fact number 3. The surface of the earth is made up of land and water. So about three-fourth of the earth is covered with water and about one-fourth of the earth is covered with land. The shape of the earth. Kids, have you ever stood in an open field or a seashore? If you have done so, then from there the earth appears flat. We don't see the curve, we see it flat. Earth is a unique planet. Different kinds of plants and animals live here. There's no other place in the universe where there. But is it so? Is the earth really flat? No. About 500 years ago, 
Ferdinand Magellan, a Portuguese sailor, set out with his ships on a long journey from Spain. He kept on sailing in one direction. After three years, he reached the same place where he had started. This proved that Earth is round, and he sailed around the Earth. From outer space too, Earth looked like a huge ball to astronauts. What are astronauts? Astronauts are those people who travels in space in a spacecraft. The horizon. Now, kids, what is a horizon? The place at which land and sky appears to meet is called the horizon. It's not the place where they actually meet. We feel that they appear to meet. They are meeting at this point. Now, every time we come closer to the horizon, it seems to move further away because it is the point where it is only appearing to meet. The coast. A coast is a place where sea and land meets. The sky. The sky is the vast space surrounding the earth. It looks blue, though it's not so. The sun, the stars, and the moon are all the heavenly bodies that are present in this space. The movements of the earth, rotation and revolution. We've studied a lot about our beautiful planet, the Earth. We are going to discover a bit more in today's lesson. We already know that the Earth actually undergoes two movements. The first, the Earth spins west to east on its axis. To complete one complete spin, the Earth takes exactly 24 hours and during which we have day and night. This movement is called rotation. Along with rotation, the earth also revolves around the sun along a fixed path called orbit. The earth takes 365 and one fourth days to complete one orbit around the sun. This movement by the earth around the sun is called revolution. Let's learn a bit more about the two movements of the earth. Click on the movement you want to learn first. The earth rotates on its axis. The earth's axis is an imaginary line that passes through the center of the earth from the north to the south pole. The axis is tilted or inclined at an angle of 23 and a half degree at the pole, which is about 66 and a half degree to the plane of the Earth's orbit. As the Earth rotates, it causes day and night. The side that is facing the sun experiences day, while the side that is facing away from the sun has night. Rotation also causes tides along with the rise and fall of the level of seawater. Rotation also affects ocean currents and winds. The Earth takes 365 and one fourth days to complete one revolution. What happens to that one fourth day? All the one-fourth days are added up for four years to the month of February. That year is called a leap year. So, in a leap year, February has 29 days. Revolution causes seasons. Since the Earth is inclined at an angle, the direct rays of the Sun fall between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. Other places receive indirect sun rays. When the North Pole is tilted to the sun, places in the Northern Hemisphere experience summer season. This is known as the summer solstice. June 21 
the day is longest and the night is shortest. The southern hemisphere experiences summer season in December. This is known as winter solstice. And on December 22, the night is the longest and the day is the shortest. On March 21 and September 23, the sun's rays fall directly on the equator. This is called equinox. At equinox, the day and night are equal. The earth thus experiences four seasons. Summer Winter Spring and Autumn Now, hope student, might be you understood about the earth. What we discussed today is what earth is made up of. Then, how this day and night occurs. What is rotation? What is revolution? What is the axis? Whatever we discuss, hope you all understand that. Thank you dear students. Have a nice day. Bye.